Hi, this is Jeremy Schwartz from World Possible. We're gonna go real quickly through Rachel Plus, connecting to Rachel Plus and some of the new features with Rachel Plus versus our original Rachel Pi um, and earlier Rachel versions. So I'm gonna go, um, Rachel Plus has been turned on by pressing that button on the front. And in your deployment scenario, you'll likely only have the Rachel wireless network available. Um, I'm in an office building, so there's lots of wireless available, but in most of our deployments, you're obtaining Rachel because there is no internet. So there usually is only just Rachel to connect to. Um, you can connect via a tablet, a laptop, a desktop, really any device you want. And sometimes it'll take a little longer to connect to Rachel because your computer's out there looking for the internet um, and it's not gonna find it. So it's connecting to Rachel right now. Uh, you'll see it's connecting and eventually uh, you'll get this notice and it's actually it's going to call it limited and that's not actually connected to the internet there so um, if you've never connected to Rachel Plus before you'll get a pop-up screen uh, automatically if you've done it recently you won't get that pop-up screen so it's good to know how to get there um, I've gone to my web browser and this can be Chrome, Firefox um, whatever it is Internet Explorer you can type in my.content and this brings you to the opening page of Rachel. Uh, you'll click the Rachel banner to get in and you're here at what's uh, the normal Rachel home page. So if you've used Rachel before you understand um, these modules, each of these little white blocks is a module. Uh, it is a set of content as it existed in a point in time. Um, if you're still a little hesitant on what that means. It means I can only connect to the content that's already installed on Rachel. Uh, it's as it existed at a prior date. So this is Wikipedia. This is exactly what Wikipedia looked like on May 2nd, 2015. If you'll notice today is about four or five months after that. So uh, World Possible makes copies or collects copies of these websites and packages them together so that you can access them without needing to have any internet around to you. So uh, most of this content is pretty usual for people who have used Rachel before. Um, this isn't even all of it. You can add content and you can update content if you bring your device back to an internet connected place. So if you're out in a village and you've got it there for six months or a year and you wanna update the version of Wikipedia or you wanna add more videos, um, you can just plug it in and go through that process pretty easily. Rachel Plus does have this nice feature called local content. When I click it, this will enable um, teachers or administrators to load content easily onto the device for other students to access it. So this is the student view. Um, you can set up, a teacher can set up lessons or content to be viewed that particular day. A teacher uh, enters their username, which has a default of teacher and a password default of teacher. And from here, they're able to upload content. So if they want to manage the library, they click library, they can click this upload content, and then they can either use this Dropbox-like function um, to go ahead and upload a file. And they can name that file math3, and this can be you know, 11, 12 math exam for period two or three. And they can tag it with their name so all their kids know how to quickly find content. Um, they can also put a series of videos or pictures or PDFs onto an external hard drive or a USB stick, plug that directly into, uh, sorry, let me upload this real quick. They can put it onto the USB stick, they can plug it into Rachel Plus, and then Rachel Plus will go, it'll find that USB stick, and it'll find all the content. So if they wanted to bulk upload, um, that's a very easy way to do it. And so all of those things have been uploaded. Once they've been uploaded, um, they can choose if they want to let students actually see that content or not. So maybe it's an exam that's coming up in a few weeks. They'll click that and it'll be hidden from student view until they actually uh, make it visible. If they've got something they wanna teach the next day or they want students to focus on when they're in classroom, they can make it featured content. So I'm gonna log out of the teacher view. So I'm now back at a student view. Um, and so now a student can see that content that the teacher has made featured. Uh, they can also go to the library and find all the other content that is available for view. This isn't showing the content that was hidden. So that's the basic overview of the teacher portal. Um, you can also view the administrator portal here. Uh, that's got a username of admin and a password of Rachel with a capital R and then plus one. And we'll try that again, capital R lowercase a c h e l 
the plus sign and number one. And here you'll be able to go through and view uh, how many people are connected, what they're connected and doing. Um, if you do have internet access, you can allow people to access the internet through Rachel Plus. Most people don't, and again, you don't need it. Uh, you can set the date and the time. You can change the what's called the SSID to something that's more noticeable or recognizable. You can add security or a password. All sorts of great features within here. Um, but I'm going to log out of this, and I'm going to get back to the actual Rachel portal. So that's um, one of the main features of the new Rachel Plus, as well as the ability for us, where we have all these CK12 textbooks uh, organized by subject and grade. Teachers can actually click, they can log in, and they can get an administrator, uh, I'm sorry, a teacher's edition to those textbooks. So they can answer kids' questions and really go through a full year of, of courses uh, across math and science. That's the basic interview to Rachel Plus. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate. Info at worldpossible.org. Thanks so much.